Hi, my name is Robert Shelley with Shelley Law, and my law firm assists professionals with employment contract and independent contractor agreement issues. Uh, today I'm gonna to talk about uh, whether you should let your new employer know about your old non-compete. So, let's say you have a job uh, either as an employee or an independent, independent contractor, um, and the agreement states that there is a valid and enforceable non-compete, and then you decide to leave the employer, uh, are you obligated to tell your new employer about your old non-compete? Um, uh, as with almost anything in the law, that depends. Um, there are a, a very small percentage of contracts that will include a clause that states you must let your new employer know about the non-compete contained in your current employment agreement. Or perhaps it will also say you must let your current employer know when you get a new job uh, so that they can, I guess, check if uh, your new position is in violation of your current non-compete. Uh, if there is no language in the contract about that, uh, then you aren't legally obligated to let your employer know about a non-compete, but there are a number of uh, concerns that you need to kind of work through. Uh, first, if you're taking a position that violates your old non-compete, um, then certainly you sh first shouldn't take the job and second, uh, need to let the employer uh, know about it in advance. If you, let's just say you take a position and you start um, and then your old employer finds out you're in violation of the non-compete, they're gonna send a letter to you. They're gonna send a letter to your new employer. They're gonna threaten legal action. Uh, and you can bet that your employer is not going to be happy that they have been threatened with litigation or perhaps have been served with litigation. Um, and your employment relationship with the employer will most likely end. So first, if you do have a position that violates your old non-compete, you need to find a new position. It's just simply not worth it. Uh, all right, so that's the first consideration. Uh, if you have a job that you know has nothing to do with your old non-compete, meaning you're well outside the geographic restriction of it, um, there's really no reason to let your new employer know about it unless they ask. Certainly if they ask, do you have a non-compete with your old job, you're not gonna lie about it. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, but you're not obligated to let them know about it if uh, it clearly is, uh, you know, doesn't violate the terms of your old non-compete. Uh, th there's really no strategic advantage to not letting your employer know about it. Um, the, the only scenario where it definitely makes sense to let them know about it uh, would be perhaps if they had a position that would violate the agreement, but they're willing to place you in a different position during the restricted period. So a non-compete contains really three main terms. It specifies what you can't do. So, you know, whatever specialty you're in, uh, for how long, and then within a certain geographic region. And so perhaps you have a non-compete um, that states you can't work within 10 miles of your primary practice location for one year after the contract terminates. Well, if you talk about it with a new employer and say, look, I can't work at this location or it does violate the non-compete, uh, they may be willing to say, all right, that's fine. We'll place you here for a year until it expires. Uh, and then we'll plan to move you back into the area. Uh, so being upfront about a non-compete um, can have its advantages if your new employer is willing to work with you. Not taking a job that violates the non-compete or not even going for a job that that violates the non-compete, um, you, you could le lose out on some potential uh, advantageous positions, if that makes sense. Meaning you may find a job that's within a certain area that does violate the non-compete, but after discussions with a new potential employer, as I said before, they're willing to make some kind of workaround. So those are some considerations to think. So uh, do you have to let your employer know about your old non-compete? Not unless there's language in the contract that states you must. Um, and the advantages of not letting them know about it are very, very small. And there's almost no scenario 
where it would make sense uh, not to at least discuss it or withhold the information from your new employer. Uh, you just get off on the wrong uh, foot and it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Uh, if you have any questions about your employment agreement or independent contractor agreement, feel free to contact my law firm at the phone number and website listed below in the description. And I appreciate you watching the video. Thanks.